alive. But you were the only person that was with us in the lab when we got sent into the game. But once inside the game, we found some important clues. Our first clue came when we were on the moon level. The phantom virus shouted, play ball. And on the Colosseum level, we found some chalk lines like a large diamond. But our biggest clue was on the final level. When the phantom virus appeared in a batting cage. All I'm getting is that the virus had a thing for baseball. Bill, not so fast, kid. Okay, son, it's all over. Bill, you were my best friend. And my best student. But you didn't pick my project. What's that supposed to mean? Professor Kaufman chose your video design over mine, even though I've been here two years longer. Students are all equal, Bill. So, you invented the phantom virus, hoping it would scare Eric away. That's right, and it worked. Till you guys showed up. You were afraid that we would find out who created the virus. So you beamed us into cyberspace. The prize would have been all mine if it wasn't for... Us meddling kids! <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for getting rid of that phantom virus. Lunch is on me, guys. In that case, I'll have another cheeseburger. Two cheeseburgers. No problem. I'm sorry you guys got trapped in cyberspace. Well, it really wasn't all that bad. Really? Going back in time was really fun. You did a great job designing all the game levels. Well, thanks, Daphne. But next time, go easier on the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shaggy, I just pulled up the Scooby-Doo video game on my laptop. Want to play? What do you say, Scoob? <laughs> now that there's no creepy virus in the game. Mm -hmm. Haven't you had enough for one day? Zoinks! Look! What are you doing, Scoob? <laughs> now that's what I call hacking. Hacking and Scooby snacking. Scooby-dooby-doo! <laughs> <laughs>